Uh, what you saw is our electric record breaker one uh, helicopter. It's a coaxial counter rotating helicopter. We just went through the startup procedure. Uh, different from a normal helicopter, the throttle would normally be right here. You rotate it. Uh, but unlike gasoline engines, electric motors have 100% torque at zero RPM. So this motor is actually so powerful, we can snap the blades right off. So digitally, we need to program the ramp and have it go slower to the maximum acceleration that the rotors can handle. And that's what's being tested here. And now that it's, it's, it's proven out, we're putting back on the balanced rotors and proceeding to outdoor uh, static and hover tests. There is a little over 180 companies uh, worldwide that are doing electric VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, but there's only two helicopters in the world that are electric, this being one of them, that's capable of flying with no power. Meaning if the motor dies, if anything in the electronic system dies, it's capable of auto-rotating, flying as a glider. So uh, a, a very large company, as a result of seeing this aircraft at, at Oshkosh, has given us an, an order for 11 aircraft, one of which being the next-gen electric one. The, the first ones are, are a gasoline engine. Okay. There, there's a very big price difference, difference right now. So as the battery uh, prices come down, then the, the volume will increase in the market. Well, the, the next step in testing is going to be with the balanced rotor set on it, actually going to hover and flight tests. The next step in the evolution is the autopilot designs that, that we're making. No, no, air, no helicopter under about eight million dollars has an autopilot and most of the autopilot technology is anywhere from 30 to 70 years old. Uh, we're basically taking next gen you know drone autopilot technology and developing it specifically for a rotorcraft which is gonna the, the safety implications for pilots is tremendous. Uh, it's gonna save a lot of lives. This one's a chromoly frame because we're dealing with a legacy transmission but all the new ones that we're manufacturing are designed for carbon monocoques. So we have the, uh, the carbon fiber production line is being set up at Hanson Island. Uh, we moved, I think it's eight tractor trailers loads of equipment, which is really all the parts to put one machine together. And we've got a team from Germany coming in mid-December to, to commission the line. And that's where we're gonna be making the fuselages for all these 11 uh, helicopters.